Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm out in my garage. Sorry it took a while, but I had to wait for the snow and water to clear up. But I got my good friend Roomba S9 Plus, and we'll see how well it can pick up this dirty garage. Let's go ahead and have some cleanup fun. Okay everyone, I'm super excited to showcase the Roomba S9 Plus during this challenge because I strongly believe that the Roomba can handle it with the high dirt load. Also, since the system is a sealed system, meaning that it won't allow dirt to escape from the robot vacuum, the system should be fairly clean. So I'll go ahead and test that as well. I'll kind of observe the vacuum, see if there's any uh, dirt getting leaked out. You may notice at the beginning that where the robot realized there's a lot of dirt, it kind of went in the short back and forth clean pattern. Well, this is one of the few robot vacuums with the dirt detection sensor. If you watched one of my previous videos, I actually did the same test with my Shark IQ. Unfortunately, it got about 3 fourths of the way until dirt got inside the gearbox. Also, dirt got underneath the sensor, the housing, and it actually caused some errors with the cliff sensors. The robot actually thought it was going to fall off the ledge even though it was on flat ground. Okay, so here's a couple things I learned about the Roomba after performing this stress test. One, I knew that the Roomba could self-empty its bin twice if it felt like the bin wasn't quite emptied yet. Okay, watch towards the end because the Roomba S9 actually had a clog in its dirt bin and it was trying to clear it out. So what happened was it went back to its docking stations three times in a row and then each time it was able to empty itself twice. So it was definitely trying to clear out this clog and I'll definitely show you the clog towards the end and how the leaves and debris kind of hung up the extractors. So here at Robot Masters, I like to do real world challenges. Like this is a good case where someone wants to put the robot vacuum outside and see if you can pick up the dirt. And really in most cases, robot vacuums are designed to be indoor use only, but just to showcase the Roomba, it really is designed well and can handle this high dirt load. iRoomba has definitely made two very popular models, the Roomba i7 Plus and the Roomba S9 Plus that both have the self-emptying bin. And in reality, this is the best system on the market. There's nothing that can really compete with it. I know that there's other companies that came out with the self-emptying bin option, but they really they cannot handle the high workload of being able to empty out the, all the dirt in the robot's bin. Okay, here's the self-emptying bin in action. Okay, besides hearing the traffic noise behind me, I actually had my garage door open to help with lighting. You could hear that the self-emptying bin was fairly loud over the cars and just the normal traffic, but also the robot vacuum emptied itself out twice to help clear out all the debris. Now you could technically do this with another robot like the Roblox series, but keep in mind that the Roblox does not have a dirt detection sensor, so it cannot detect if its bin's full. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. The Roomba went back to its docking station a second time, each time doing it twice, emptying itself. Now it's going to go ahead and go back a third time, trying to empty itself twice again. So this is an indication that there's a clog and the robot vacuum is trying to uh, clear it out. Unfortunately, it doesn't clear it out and I'll get a notification on both my iPhone and smartwatch or the Apple Watch. I'll go ahead and show it to you right now. Okay, give me one second here. I'm a noob. I'm trying to out of focus and use my right hand it's not working so well okay so basically there's a problem with the dustbin and it's just indicating me that there's a clog all right looks like the robot's almost towards the edge of the room and it's going to go ahead and try to escape from the room to get to another room and we'll be done with this pickup challenge don't go just yet i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how much the robot vacuum was able to pick up well what do you guys think i think it did a pretty good job yes there's still some dirt on the ground but Keep in mind, this is designed for indoor use, but I decided to stress test it outside in my garage and I think it did really well. Um, this is a robot vacuum, not a shop vac, 
But for what it is, it fits extremely well. I'm going to go ahead and show you on the paper towel. So if you guys like this type of video, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Roller Masters. And you can clearly see I do very unique tests. And you may notice I look towards behind me. Well, my daughter's laughing at me because she's trying to tell me to get some scissors to help open up the bag so I can get all the dirt out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and listen to her advice. Okay, so it looks like the Roomba is a true shop back. Just kidding. Actually, it actually did surprisingly well. It picked up the majority of the leaves and the fine dirt and dust particles. So good job, Roomba. It definitely did a really good job. I'm truly impressed. So if you're looking for a robot vacuum that can handle a lot of dirt, I think the Roomba series is probably your best option, especially for a self-emptying bin system that works. Well, I'm just blown away. I think the Roomba did a really good job, and I could always have the robot do a second pass, but just on the first pass, I think it probably picked up 80% of the dirt. Well, wow, good job, Roomba. The last thing I want to show you is the debris that was left in the dustbin. You can see it kind of got clogged because of the big debris. Have a great rest of your day, and be safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.